Hi everyone, Michael Potter back again and uh, it's video number 18 of the 30 day video challenge for Tab Pays group. Uh, and the subject of today's video is freestyle. Uh, this is let yourself go, talk about what you want, share something with the group. So I'm going to share something with the group, with you all, which is personal but it's not about me, it's about my daughter. And it is to illustrate the power of positive thinking and uh, how it can work if the thoughts are there and they're strong enough. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to put myself down in the corner and you'll see two pictures uh, appear, okay? So there we go. Let's go down in the corner. Click. Hey, here I am. Okay then, so the two pictures. Uh, that's my grandson, Bo. That's when he was born on the left. And that's how he was a couple of months ago. Or how he is, and how he was a couple of months ago. So basically, this is the story of Kerry, my daughter. She had a 16-week scan, and they found that Bo, they, she didn't know he was a boy, and she didn't want to know what the sex was. The baby had a diaphragmatic hernia. That's where the diaphragm doesn't join together. There's a hole, so everything gets pushed up and out of place. So uh, uh, they said to her, uh, we'll send you to see the professor, the consultant at uh, UCH in Tottenham Court Road, and uh, We'll see what he says. So, okay, so she goes and sees a consultant and he tells her that in these, he's looked at the scan. It seems not too bad and we can operate these days. A few years ago, we couldn't operate and, uh, you know, the baby wouldn't, wouldn't survive. So uh, they gave her, gave her the option of obviously a termination, which she said, no, I don't want that. If you say there's a chance, I'll give him a chance. I'll give the baby a chance when we go ahead with the pregnancy. Okay, they said they'll keep an eye on her as they get closer. So she goes in, they're going to induce her because they've got to have a, they've got to make sure the baby's born at a particular time, so they've got the experts there that can handle it. So okay. So they take her in, induce her when the baby's on the due date, the baby's due, they take her in and they induce the baby. So the experts are there, and uh, Bo is born. So, uh, but unfortunately, my daughter couldn't see him. And uh, when we went to up to the hospital to see her to find out, we goes in the room, and she says, "You know, Mum and Dad. Uh, obviously, Ross was there, the husband. Uh, they won't let me see him because it's worse than they thought, and they're not sure he's going to make the night." So they offered for her to see the chaplain to have the last rites just in case. But she said, no, I don't want to do that. He's going to make it. So they said, well, you know, there's a good chance. It's like really iffy. He can't breathe. So she said, no, no, give him a chance. So I'm going to wish him through the night. So basically, I said to her, Kerry, just keep wishing. I mean, I don't know what the tie is. A man doesn't know the, the tie between the mother and the baby. I mean, we, we know it's really strong. So she said, no, I'm going to keep, I'm going to focus. He's going to make it through the night. He's going to make it through the night. So I said, okay, then we'll see you tomorrow. Well, to cut the story short, yes, thank God he made it through the night. And then they said, right, he's made it through the night. The next thing is we've got to get him to Great Ormond Street Hospital where we can get him to intensive care and uh, stabilise him, get his lungs, get because he where the lungs wasn't formed and one was only half a lung, the, he, the blood didn't have any oxygen. They had to get that lung to start working because it was all up in the neck. His heart was up here apparently. So, okay, so there's a special team, an ambulance, it's called the CATS, I think, 
children, accident, trauma specialists that get them over to Great Ormond Street. So they took him, got him there, got him up into intensive care. And as that, that's him on the left there in intensive care, all strapped up. And in the induced coma for months he was, where they had to use this machine that kept a <laughs> to keep pumping air into his lung to stretch it, to stretch it, to stretch it, so the oxygen could get into his blood because they couldn't operate unless he had a certain amount of oxygen in his blood. That was the problem. So it was going on and on, but you know, that in in that intensive care there was babies worse than him. So. You know, we're thankful that uh, it's all going to plan. Uh, eventually, the consultant said, right, there's enough oxygen in his blood. We can operate, but obviously there's going to be a risk. He's only a tiny little baby. So anyway, they took him in. I think the operation was about seven hours. They packed the hole with Gore-Tex material. And uh, they said, you know, the skin will grow over that. So they put everything back, patched it up with Gore-Tex, and uh, he survived. Uh, it, was, it was still like a month, I think, before, my, I'm not sure at the time, it may have been a month before, or a bit longer before he could come home, because obviously I had to make sure he was still on a breathing machine and everything. But yes, eventually he came home, and uh, he wasn't a very good eater, because I, I dare say with all that going on, Maybe it hurt to swallow. We don't know, do we? But as you can see from the picture on the right, he is a little tear away now. He goes, he belts everywhere. I don't think he knows how to walk. Zoom, zoom. Uh, you know, he does soccer, football. He does uh, uh, karate and swimming. So, yeah, it, it's worked out well, I'm pleased to say. And uh, that's just my video today, uh, the power of positive thinking, I'm going to call it. And, uh, you know, good things do come out of adversity. The worst situations you can think you could be in. But if you, as long as you don't let yourself go, if you sort of get down on yourself and then you get all moping down, Everything just can go downhill. You've got to stay positive. So that's it for now. Video 18. Uh, well, cool. We're not getting through them now, aren't we? Uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.